So, professionals say, drink something about 20 minutes before you're about to record. And it moistens your palate and your, your vocal cords. So here's my tip. Make sure it's something that isn't going to make you feel like fucking vomiting 20 minutes from now. So, here. Oh, it's your boy. It's your host. Your brother from another mother, Chris. Check this shit out. Oh, my poor buddy's got a cone on. Oh, he's snoring like a motherfucker, too. So, I think the best feeling I ever got on YouTube was maybe a week and a half ago when uh, um, I seen an opportunity. Ethos was uh, releasing his uh, montage, and he was so excited for it. I mean, he was making videos leading up to it, and I seen how excited he was, so I made my trailer for his video and put it up on my channel and I think after getting his reaction that was the best feeling I ever had on YouTube was just helping someone asking nothing just cause I wanted I had a feeling that I wanted to do that so keep it in that tradition uh, I'm actually starting a weekly series it's gonna be uh, my tip tip of the week I don't know what else to call it at the moment, so it's going to be tip of the week, and we're going to start right off. So let's see if I could change screens. Let's see how I do this. All right, changing screens now. All right, so we're jumping right into this shit. I'm new on YouTube. I'm only about, what, three and a half months I've been doing uploads, so I'm new to YouTube. And what do I want to do? I want to fucking brand myself. I want to meet as many people as possible, I want to make as many friends as possible, I want to try to gain as many subscribers as possible, and the only way I could do that is by branding myself. So in my opinion, branding, the most important uh, piece of branding you could use is your fucking avatar. Having that show up in people's comments. Um, having it show up in different feeds uh, on Google Plus, replying to people's comments, uh, sending out messages, all with that avatar is going to be your basically your fingerprint on YouTube. The second most important thing is going to be your channel. It's going to be what people remember the most about you. Um, before any other any video, they'll remember what your channel looks like. And before they remember your name, they'll remember what your avatar looks like. So these are the two most important things that you could use to help yourself become known on YouTube. Now, I'm just going to start pulling off some examples. Here's my boy Chris's channel. He's a relatively new cat to the whole YouTube thing, too. Um, I think he's only been uploading for, what, three, four weeks now. And he only uploads one video a week. But I've been watching every video of his for the last three, four weeks. By clicking on his name, I go to his feed page. Um, and this is where I have a problem. And maybe you guys, we could debate it a little bit. But when I click on your name, I want to go to your featured channel. I want to go to your featured video, your featured page. Because, for instance, if I missed your video and I click over on your name because I want to go check out your last video now I have to scroll still scrolling um, through a lot of crap to find that last video which I did watch by the way um, but every like every uh, subscription every comment I have to go through God like a hundred different things in your feed to find that one video yes I could have clicked uploads but let's just go by the assumption that I am a lazy motherfucker by nature um, you know it, I in my opinion having your featured page always open up to your subscriber or to any new user is going to be your best bet and if you look at channels with 10,000, 25,000, 100,000 fucking subscribers, you're going to find that they all have this one thing in common. 
you all you always go to their featured page um another example fuck it we do it live here's my boy um doing shit right click on his channel boom right here here's the last video yesterday I missed this video now it's right up in front of me if I want to check out any of his other videos here they are they're all right here check out any of the the sub sub to these guys look oh, here I am <laughs> well I got a sub to this guy but uh yeah all right here right in front of me now if you go to your channel and click on channel settings all these options I've been talking about right here for you I know some of the, this is very basic for a lot of you guys but bear with me for a minute I might add something in here that you don't know about so appearance boom avatar background background options uh, information and settings I'm still fucking with uh, with my description on my channel I don't know, it's one of those things that changes every week. But uh, at the very end, tabs. This is where you get to choose what your subscriber sees every time they click on your name or avatar. And uh, I have mine set to featured tab. I have always take subscriber user to feed checked off. And I'm using the blogger. Um, I like the blogger because, again, it shows whatever video I want people to see uh, it's got all my uploads in chronological order right in front of them so if they missed any videos they could take a look from there and has all the stupid different information on the right hand bar there perfect now here's something that you guys might not know um, all these these you know if you're using feed you have your options here uh, as far as what you want people to see if you're using that option but when you're on featured it gives you four different options for your featured as well and uh, I, I, I just prefer to use the blogger but uh, I know a couple of you guys uh, you know six seven hundred subscribers thousand subscribers five thousand subscribers you're starting to do a lot of Google Plus and uh, daily live streams and uh, this might be something that you're interested in it's a live broadcaster option set on featured and uh, basically what it is is uh, it'll take anyone that clicks on your name or your avatar to your live broadcast page and from there they will either see when your next live broadcast is scheduled or uh, or your last broadcast your last live broadcast and the comments for your last bro blah blah live broadcast man that's a fucking mouthful so yeah again something that might be interesting to you guys um i know i'm starting at the very basics here but again i only been doing this through shit three months and i'm still learning shit every day myself and hopefully i could have helped one fucking guy with this video so got anything to add leave it below got a comment leave it below um anything you want me to talk about let me know. And uh, that's it. Peace. All the channels in the video are listed down in the description. Go give our boys some love. And if you're new, click on the middle screen. Go check out the last video. And leave a fucking comment. Peace.